Hey there, Matt again here with another video, and today we're going to be continuing on with our circuit boards, but now we're going to be doing our through-hole components. So today with the through-hole components, what we're going to be doing is putting in the displays, we're going to be putting in the buttons, a couple other little LED things, a couple of pins, and that's about it. But to do that, we need to place them all upside down first, because what we need to do is put a solder mask over a couple of specific spots where we don't want any solder to go. So the location where we need to put on the mask are these two little dots here and these five contact pads here. These five contact pads are going to end up holding a nine pin connector. These two just need to have, you know, clear open contact. So nothing really goes into them. They just need to have an open contact point. Now it may look like a lot, but it really isn't. In quite a short amount of time, this does glaze over, kind of harden up into like a jelly type substance and turns red. But what we do is keep them upright for a good five, 10 minutes so it kind of stiffens up a little bit before we flip the boards over and then continue. So what we'll do is get the solder mask on all the rest. So now that we've flipped everything back over with the solder mask on, it's time to actually start putting some components on. And the first one we always do are the buttons. The buttons are a little rough to pop in, so we put those in first so it doesn't kind of jar everything else out if you put them in afterwards. So buttons now. These ones popped in actually a lot easier, and the reason is the board can take five pin buttons or four pin buttons. These ones are the four, and they pop in a lot easier. The five pin ones, sometimes you have to wiggle it in and they kind of pop in, and that's why we put them in first, because in case they start jumping out little pins and things like that when we put them in. So the next thing we'll do here is we'll put in our red LEDs. We have four up in the top and three up in the center, but they're two different types, so what we'll do is the top ones first. So the top ones are really easy to do. There's a little indent on the board here, showing a flat spot, and on the, on the LED, there's a little flat spot on that. So they go in just like so. All right, so now we do the other three down here. So these ones, it's not as easy to figure out which orientation they need to go in. We have a square and a circle component, noting polarity. And then on the component here, it's kind of hard to actually see on camera. It actually shows, you know, how the polarity is. So we put it in with, I, I look at it as it pointing left. So just the orientation of the component internally. And that goes in like so like so, and like so. So now all the little red LEDs are done. So what we'll do next is our debug pin. So the debug pin, little 10 pin connector, drops in like that, just like that. Now we'll do our little three pins right over here. In like that, in like that. What we have left is our light sensor down here. Again, with the same kind of orientation, a square and a dot, things point to the left for polarity. Drop that in like so. Next, we have our bar displays. Always well, we start from the top up. Drop them in like so. Now, what we do to these before we drop them in is we actually crimp them a little bit so they don't sit flush against the board they're actually raised up a little bit and that helps with them being displayed within the case next we have our actual segment displays our two segment goes right in the center and our threes go on the sides like that and like that and that makes this board ready for our wave solder machine but we have to actually do all the other boards as well 
exactly like this. So we will get those going now. And that there are all the boards with all the through-hole components. Now to the wave solder machine. And now we get to the wave solder. This thing here is the wave solder machine. We call it Bessie. No real reason why. But I will say it took the strength of four or six full-grown men to actually lift it from the two pallets onto this table. Uh, and that's while it was still filled with all the lead, and it hasn't moved since, and I don't plan on moving it anytime soon. Before we actually do the wave soldering and put it in the system, we actually have to coat the underside with some liquid flux. So the process from start to finish on this machine is once it has the liquid solder applied and is in the cage that goes along the conveyor system, it's going to go along this heated pad here, kind of preheating the bottom of the board before it finally goes into the wave solder. Now, the reason I'm telling you all this right now is I'm not really going to be able to tell you about it as I'm doing it. When I'm doing it, this fan is going to be going, the air circ fan in the room is going to be going, the door is going to be closed, and I'm also going to be wearing a respirator. And that's because the liquid flux that we use is very harmful to your lungs. So it's one of the things where we take all the safety precautions we can. We keep, no one else comes into the area. There's ventilation everywhere and you have personal protection on yourself. And, that be, and with that case, I won't be able to talk. Or, well, I will, but you won't be able to hear a thing I'm saying. So, that being said, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna coat the bottom of the board it's going to go into the ramp up process, it's going to go through the wave solder, it's going to come out the other side, take a quick peek at it, goes in the collection tray, and then on with the next. So, we'll start that process now. out of the respirator in the very hot room and 40 more of these boards later uh, they all look good they're all wave soldered very nice there's no uh, bridging that I can see which is good which means the flux did its job none of the components kind of floated around a bit so that's good there are one or two boards that didn't get one of the contact pins done over you know maybe six kind of thing but, you know, that's an easy thing to fix uh, on the bench when they go through all the uh, inspection. And uh, sorry I couldn't keep the, uh, the camera all set up while I was doing the other boards. I have to be in and aware of everything and it just, the camera would have gotten in the way. Um, you'll, you'll just have to take my word for it, unfortunately. But yeah, that there is the wave solder machine in action. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. As always, like and subscribe, and until the next one, have a good one.